this is a jaw dropper. Yeah. Right? Because like some are funny, some are weird, some are things I've just never told because they're really only appropriate for a book. But the Woody Allen one is a freaking jaw dropper. So get this shit, you guys. So I'm at a small dinner party, like 12 people, right? And I'm seated next to Woody Allen and I'm uncomfortable because I think he's guilty. And so, um, <laughs> you know, I'm allowed to think that. All right, so, uh, so he sits next to me, and he's, he opened with a funny line, because I have to say, I don't, I don't mind, I love a dark sense of humor, and, you know, he's got legit indiscretions, but he's also a legit genius, right? So he comes in with the wife, and he goes, I'm Woody, and this is my child bride. <laughs> oh, hold on. It gets way weirder. Okay, so I was like, oh, that's sort of, like, all right, he has some, like, awareness of that. So I'm next to him, and then he's, like, very uh, frail, and very sort of feeble, and I'm asking him about his movies because I don't know what to talk to him about. <laughs> and so I'm asking him like about Liev Schreiber because I know they're friends, and he's like, oh, I've never seen Ray Donovan. I was like, oh, that's weird. So I'm thinking, what do I talk to him about? So I'm asking him about directing all these amazing comedians in his films, and he's kind of like, oh, my casting director, Julia Taylor, kind of takes all of that. She takes care of all that. I'm like, okay. So then I start teasing him, and I go, it sounds like you don't really direct, Woody. It sounds like you just kind of sit around and read the newspaper. And he's like not laughing at one thing I say and isn't having my crap. And then I said, well, I want to, you know, talk to me about some of the greats. I said, you know, you've worked with the great Kevin Spacey. And he's like, oh, yeah, I've never seen House of Cards. And I go, what, you know, you don't watch anything? And so then I started to really just try to make it fun for myself because I could tell he found me annoying. And I go, well, Woody, you probably want to hear all about my new Miley Cyrus gossip. Swear to God, he goes, I've never missed Hannah Montana. <laughs> okay, that is not a story for my act because it's so, I don't even know what that is. It's creepy, but weird, but funny. And I'm like, Hannah Montana, the show where she's Hannah by day and a rocker by night. He's like, yeah. And I go, huh, you, what do you mean you've never missed? He's like, I don't know, that girl, she just had something. And I go, yeah, she was eight. I did. I was like, and then he goes, it's kind of sad what's happened to her. And I go, I love the new slutty Miley. What's your problem? And he then, by the way, he then went to cast her in an Amazon show, which you may know. And then I swear to God, he said, I said something like, well, you know, celebrities, you've, you've met them all, Woody. And he said, and now I have to watch my friend Bill Cosby get railroaded. Oh, wow. Not funny, but perfect for a book. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> The book is mostly funny, but that story in particular, I couldn't leave it out. I mean, it was just insane that he said that to me.